What's up guys, Lon here from Android Authority, and a lot of the flagships that have come out recently have had at least one or two things that make them a little bit different or unique, whether that's a super tall and skinny 18 by nine screen, a secondary display, dual cameras, curved edge glass, or an AI assistant. Uh, manufacturers have to try a lot harder nowadays to really make their phones stand out. And HTC's newest phone, the U11, has a new feature called Edge Sense that lets you squeeze the phone to activate a particular function of the phone itself. And this is a very interesting and unique feature, something we've never really seen before on any smartphone. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at it, uh, see exactly how it works and what it can do for you. See what I did there? You, cause you 11. Just cue the intro, please. So the sides of the HTC U11 are pressure sensitive, and in order to start using Edge Sense, you first have to set it up, which is something you're prompted to do during the initial setup process, or you can do it later by enabling it in the settings. To set up Edge Sense, it's going to ask you to set the intensity of the squeeze, or as HTC calls it, the squeeze force level, which is basically how hard or how soft you have to squeeze the phone in order for the function to trigger. You set the squeeze force level by squeezing the phone as hard as you want, and this will be how hard you have to squeeze the phone every time to activate the feature. You can also hit the plus or minus buttons on the setup screen to fine tune the level of the squeeze. And from here, you can test the squeeze by sending virtual balloons into the air to make sure it's exactly what you want. Something to keep in mind is you don't want to set the squeeze to be too soft or you'll run into accidental squeezes, which sounds kind of weird to say, but it does happen. And if you squeeze the phone too hard, it actually makes it a little uncomfortable to use when you have to apply so much force. I found the sweet spot to be somewhere in the middle. There are also options to enable visual or haptic feedback to make it easier to tell that something is actually happening, especially if you're squeezing the phone without looking or while the phone is asleep. Once you have it all set up, you can start using the feature right away, and by default, it's set to open up the camera. Squeezing once will launch the camera, and squeezing again while you're inside of the camera app will snap a photo. And if you like using it for the camera, you can keep it that way, obviously, but if you'd rather use it for something else, you can change it to pretty much whatever you'd like. You can have it open up any app of your choice, like Facebook, Instagram, Gmail, Twitter, Google Maps, or perform other actions like taking a screenshot, turning on the flashlight, starting a voice recording, or launching HTC's own Sense Companion. If you wanna take things a step further, you can enable the advanced mode, which will let you assign two different functions with a short and a long squeeze. For example, you can do a short squeeze to launch the camera or squeeze and hold to open up Google Assistant. But again, you can customize both the short and long squeeze to be anything you want, whether it's turning on a specific feature of the phone or launching an app. If you do use the advanced mode to control the camera and Google Assistant, you'll gain some additional functionality within both of those apps. Once the camera is launched, a short squeeze will take a photo just like before, but performing a long squeeze can switch you back and forth between the front and main camera. With Google Assistant, if you're typing a message in an email, text message, or any input field that would require the keyboard and would like to finish up the email or text with your voice, voice to text can be activated with either a short or a long squeeze. One of the biggest benefits of the Edge Sense feature is that it still allows you to interact with the phone even when it's wet or submerged. So if you wanna take a photo, take a screenshot, open an application, or turn on the camera flash, you can still easily do that, and that's all made completely possible by the IP67 certification. And that's all there really is to the U11's Edge Sense feature. It's a very different and unique way of interacting with this phone that we've never seen before on any other smartphone. And I know that squeezing your phone may sound like a very weird thing to do at first, but it's actually pretty intuitive and I've thoroughly enjoyed using it as a shortcut to Google Assistant. But what do you guys think about HTC's Edge Sense feature? Is it a smartphone game-changing feature or is it another smartphone gimmick that won't really make much of an impact on the way we use our phones? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. And as always, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel, which is down below as well, and hit that notification bell while you're at it so you don't miss out on future videos. And as always, check us out on social media, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Google+, all that good stuff will be linked down below. And check the website as well. And AndroidAuthority.com because we are your source for all things Android.